So, Howard, have you and Rajesh finally summoned the courage to express your latent homosexual feelings towards one another? <laughs> What? No. <clears throat> Why not? Because we don't have latent homosexual feelings toward one another. I see. No, really, I have a girlfriend now. And where is she this evening? She had to go out of town. Her grandmother died. I see. Her grandmother died. <laughs> Dude, honest to God. <clears throat> Leonard, tell her I have a girlfriend. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm talking about. Tell her I have a girlfriend. All right. He has a girlfriend. <laughs> her name is Bernadette. She's working as a waitress, but she's going to school to be a microbiologist. Howard, keep in mind that the more passionately you stick to this construct, the more you're hurting your partner. <laughs> you really think your lips in my ear is helping? Oh, glad you're here. Uh, sit down, I'll get you a plate. Mom, you remember Penny? Oh, yes, the waitress slash actress with the unresolved father issues. <laughs> Has he finally come to terms with his little slugger growing breasts? Well, he sent me a football and a catcher's mitt for Christmas, so I'm gonna say no. If it helps, we're all good with your breasts. <laughs> Classic overcompensation. <laughs> Speaking of fathers, Leonard, that reminds me, I'm divorcing yours. What? Yes, he was cheating on me. No! Yeah, with some waitress from the university cafeteria. Can you believe it? A waitress. Oh, no offense, dear. No, it sounded like a compliment. When did this happen? Well, let's see. Sheldon, when did I leave Leonard's father? September 22nd. Oh, yes, that's right. The weekend after Leonard's dog died. Mitzi's dead? She was old and blind, Leonard. What choice did we have? I don't believe this. Why am I the last to know? Excuse me, Leonard. I am the one who's getting a divorce. Mitzi is the one who is dead. Why are you the one making a fuss? You're right. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm way out of line. So, Penny, what's new in your life? Nothing, not a damn thing. 